If you ask critters to list their favourite moments from Campaign 2, there's always one moment in particular that stands out. Will you split this cupcake with me? This cupcake was a black moss cupcake from Uthodern, and there's a recipe for it in Exquisite Exandria, the official Critical Role cookbook. It was actually a blueberry cupcake, but the black moss cupcakes were involved in this moment, so just... I got confused. Carry on. So, I think it's time to try it and see if it's as delicious as it sounds. Let's get into the kitchen! The cupcakes are made up of three components, the dark chocolate cupcakes, the chocolate matcha frosting, and the moss cookie crunchies, and of course we can't forget the dust of deliciousness. Alright, we're going to pop this here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 165 Celsius. Now my oven is very old and dodgy, it doesn't have any temperature gauges on it anymore, and it's also kind of loud, so apologies <laughs> for any background noise. We're going to start by getting together all of our ingredients for the cupcakes. Bless the authors of this book for putting everything in grams, by the way. Often with these kinds of books, everything is in... Excuse you, this is a hygienic kitchen. Off the bench, please. Anyway, yeah, most of the books put things in... What is it, ounces? What do you guys use over there in America? I don't know, but anyway, this book has grams and I'm very grateful. All right, so we need 140 grams of plain flour, 150 grams of granulated sugar, perfect. Oh wait, I do this for every cooking video. We've got to do the dramatic slow-mo, ready? Okay, <laughs> we'll see what that turns out like. All right, we need 25 grams of cocoa powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And lastly, some salt. Wait, kitty, pop off please. And we can't forget the most important ingredient, some of these delicious dice from Only Crits. I'll just have one now. What are you doing? You can't eat those, those are dice. They look so tasty. Yeah, I know they look like candy, but they're not edible. You can't eat them. All right, if you say so. Get your hands on your own forbidden candy from Only Crits with incredible Black Friday savings. Get a whopping 40% off a recurring Mystery Dice Box subscription where they send you a beautiful new set every month. And if you use the code MYSTERYBOX35, you will get an additional 35% off. That is a total of 61% off the first month of your Mystery Box subscription. You're completely in control of your subscription and you can modify or cancel it at any time. If you're looking to pick up a particular set of dice, you can get 20% off your order with the code BFCM23 and they are giving away a free D&D adventure every single day between November 24th and 27th. Only Crits has a huge array of dice styles to choose from, including their delicious sharp edge sets, delightful little friend sets, and delectable metal dice sets. You can also pick up accessories like dice trays, towers, and bags. Head to onlycrits.com or use the link in the description to get 35% off the first month of a mystery dice box subscription and access tons of savings. I'll mix these all together. Oh, it smells so chocolatey. Oh. oh, delicious. All right, we'll put this to the side for one moment and we're gonna put together all the wet ingredients. Okay, one egg. Thank you very much to my neighbor who actually dropped around some fresh eggs for me recently. <laughs> and some milk. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. And we need some sour cream. It's probably gonna be too much. Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh gosh, well, I'm not baking something in the kitchen if I'm not making a huge mess, let's be real. This cleanliness that you see behind you is just 100% an illusion. All of the mess has been pushed outside of the frame of the camera. All right, to this we're going to add two uh, tablespoons? Two tablespoons of, it's supposed to be vegetable oil, I just realized I don't have any, so I am gonna use olive oil. Uh, hopefully that doesn't like completely muff it up, but you know, I like olive oil. I think it might add a nice like, you know, earthy tone to our black moss cupcakes. So we will see. Oh, something about milk and oil together though. Come on. Aha, I have triumphed over you, vanilla. 
To this we're gonna add some vanilla and just to make it, you know, really lean into that black moss-ness, <laughs> some black food coloring. Well, that looks pretty cursed. Now we whisk. Oh gosh, this actually looks <laughs> extremely unappealing. Ah yes, the beautiful gray of a concrete building. Delightful. Okay, to our wet ingredients, we're going to add the dry ingredients. Oh God, making a mess again. I really should have worn an apron. Okay, mix, mix. <laughs> Am I the only one who like sings to myself whenever I'm cooking? This is <laughs> what I'm doing constantly when I'm making dinner. I'm just like, and then we mix and then we chop. And I'm not a good singer. So uh, my poor long suffering family has to put up with it. I feel like that black food coloring didn't really do very much. It's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. And then we need to prep our muffin tin. I think technically you're supposed to do this beforehand so you don't leave your like a batter sitting. Okay, now we're going to fill these. This is the part that I feel like I always <laughs> make such a huge mess and I never fill them evenly. Does anyone have any tips for like making sure you fill your things evenly? Cause I would love to hear them. I might try using some little spoons. Oh gosh, no, I already made a mess. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. This is taking forever. Now, controversial question. When you're baking, do you lick the bowl? Let me know in the comments. It's good. All right, so I'm gonna put these in the oven for it says uh, 16 to 19 minutes. I am gonna set a timer for around 10 minutes to check on them because again, my oven is dodgy. Uh, if I don't set a timer, I absolutely will forget and I will burn them, which I have done on many occasions. While we're waiting for those to bake in the oven, let's take a look at why these cupcakes are so famous. This section contains major spoilers for campaign two. So if you'd like to skip it, you can jump to this timestamp. In campaign two, not revealed to the party that she had been cursed by a hag. So the group decided to go and see this hag and see if they could somehow convince her to break the curse. One by one, they went in to meet with the hag who offered them a deal, uh, a deal to break the curse, but for something that would, you know, not be so great for them. What I want is to be given something that you know you would not want to lose. Marisha had resolved that she was going to have Bo take the deal and you can see her getting very upset about this decision in the moment, but then Jester swoops in and pulls off probably the most famous play in Critical Role history. I'm going to pull out my last blueberry cupcake. <laughs> Will you split this cupcake with me? Have you ever had the blueberry cupcake? Mm -hmm. I don't believe I have. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> 24. She reaches out and grabs the other half of the cupcake. It's so small in her long oh. curled fingers. Kind of. That was sprinkled with the dust of deliciousness. <laughs> okay. Remind me what that is again. That is. A dust that makes food taste much better. <laughs> and it also gives you a disadvantage on wisdom checks and wisdom saving throws. Okay. And I'm going to cast Modify Memory. Oh my god. Hold oh on. Hold oh on. Okay. Did I succeed? Yep. <gasps> what? I'm going to make her believe mm -hmm. that she enjoyed my company so very much that she agreed to end Knot's curse because she 
liked hanging out so much. <laughs> And she hasn't had good company in a very long time. <laughs> Laura fucking Bailey. Oh, oh, oh. Just wanted to clarify how the black moss cupcakes play into this because it was a blueberry cupcake that Jester gave in this moment. However, she promised Ashana that she would send more cupcakes and she ends up sending a box of black moss cupcakes. That is why this recipe is listed in the Critical Role cookbook with the dust of deliciousness attached to it, um, just to clarify. I remember the exact moment that I watched this episode. I was at work because luckily my day job does uh, allow room for me to watch stuff while I'm working. And uh, I was, you know, busy working your Way, and then I remember I just dropped everything. I was so riveted. I'm pretty sure I even let the phone ring out because I could not believe what was happening. It's moments like this that just make me love role-playing games so much because you just never know what the players are gonna do. You can see it on Matt's face. He is so surprised uh, by this moment. Like he's so perplexed when she pulls out the cupcake and he's like, okay, where are you going with this? It was just such an absolutely brilliant moment and it shifted the trajectory of the campaign so much because who knows what would have happened if she hadn't done that. Like it could have gone in a totally different way. Personally, I'm still hoping that one day the hag is gonna realize that something has gone awry and we're gonna see her appear again. I would love to hear what you thought about this moment. You know, do you remember where you were when you watched it? Make sure you put those in the comments and uh, let's get back to baking. Okay, so while the cupcakes are cooling, we are gonna work on the chocolate matcha frosting. We're going to combine butter, cream cheese, icing sugar, cocoa powder, matcha powder, milk, and salt. Okay, so we'll add this butter. Just softened up a bit in the microwave because I forgot to take it out of the fridge. And do you know what else I forgot? I forgot to buy cream cheese for the icing. No! I do this every single time I do a cooking video and unfortunately this is literally the only day I have to film this and so I can't go to the shops because I have like very little time left to, to finish this up before I have to pick up my kid from school and return to my normal life where I don't get to flounce around in pretty fantasy dresses. So we're just gonna do some plain butter icing and it's not gonna be as delicious and that makes me sad. All right, let's carry on as best we can. It's mixing time. All right, needs more butter. Didn't have enough cream cheese, so we don't have enough icing. The answer is always more butter. It's time for the taste test. Mm. Honestly, it needs a lot more icing sugar because I added the extra butter. All right, second taste test. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh, it really is missing the cream cheese though to kind of balance out that chocolate flavor. Ah, curses! Next we're gonna make the moss cookie crunchies which the cupcakes are dipped in, sort of as the final touch. And we have to crush up these wafer biscuits and I have just one thing I'd like to say. I would like to rage! Honestly, pretty cathartic. We add a little bit of brown sugar. We add some of the matcha powder. And we need a little bit of butter melted. All right, so now we just need to put all these things together. We're gonna ice the cupcakes and dip them in the cookie crumble. Uh, wish me luck with the icing. I always, always do a super shoddy job. So let's go. Well, there you have it, our black moss cupcakes. Uh, not a true reflection of the recipe since I did forget to buy one of the main ingredients, the cream cheese for the icing, but hopefully they still taste delicious. It's just one last little thing we have to add, the dust of deliciousness. Here you go.
goes nothing. much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe videos like this take me a really long time to do because it's just me moving all the cameras around and things like that so I really do appreciate your support I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons they actually voted for this recipe uh, so if you would like to you know get to vote on things like this in the future as well as get bonus videos once a month and early access and behind the scenes content and all those good things you can head to patreon.com forward slash lube thank you again to only crits for sponsoring this video and if you would like to walk down memory lane with me and look at some other iconic moments from Critical Role, you can check out this video right here. Bye!